Hey everybody, come on in. The weekend's not over yet. We can still do this. It's not Monday yet. It's still Sunday. Let's come on in here for the party. I'm really excited to share with you what products I've been using in my Bath and Body Works. Have I reduced my sash? Has it increased? What's going on over here? Come and enjoy the last little moments of Sunday. Blow the bubbles with me because even though Monday's coming, it's still like a dream over here. Okay, we are going to get started now. Everybody, if you haven't come in yet, you can see the replay. So, yeah, hey, hey, hey. I see a few people coming on through. We're one minute in. I'm really excited. I just want to tell you that up front. I'm really excited because we go to these sales, we buy these products, we hoard them. But the really fantastic part is using them. And this is where I get to share with you what I'm using, how I'm, my strategy for using the products up, what I'm enjoying, what I will repurchase, you know, what I'm getting through. This is the good stuff. First of all, without saying, do you guys remember when this came out? Pink Petal Tea Cake. Oh. I finished this one. I enjoyed every drop of it. It's like an intimate, these are like an intimate little candle. This baby threw like if I got it from Saks Fifth Avenue. It was so beautiful. Even the little bit that's left, it smells like a rosy citrus and vanilla and cake. And it was beautiful. But this was my last... Um, one that I burned that was like a cakey bakery scent. So I finished that one off. And now I'm going into this. This is power. I love this candle, you guys. This smells like Dior Attic perfume. I love it. This is a perfume scent. It is a vanilla scent. It's sweet. It's syrupy. It's sexy. It's so relaxing. And, I mean, nobody else likes it but me. What else is new? So, I don't, I don't know that I'll be able to get it. But I'm hoping that at the next SAS, people will return it. Because they'll want something else. And then I'll be able to buy more of these. Because it's the only one I have. And this is how far I am. And so, I'm about halfway finished. I intend to finish this candle power. Let me give you the notes. Let me not be rude. And just in case. Dark woods, I love candles with woods, smoked tonka. So it's like smoky like fireside and black pepper. So the tonka is the vanilla scent. You guys, it smells like Dior Addict and I crave that perfume. So when this scents the room like it, it's like for pennies on the dollar, I got this expensive designer perfume. I love it. I know that most people at Bath and Body Works aren't into perfume scents. And oh, she goes again. <laughs> Boathouse Row. At least this one has a cult following, but I think when it was in the store um, originally, it went on clearance. I'm finishing this one. I think I'm about one third of the way. You can see there on the side, I'm about one third of the way. So I think I'll get that one done for spring before SAS. I hate it because I can't get another one of this one either. And I think this one a lot of people like this time. It is um, a blend of sage, pomegranate, and bay leaf. This is a spa scent. Also, I have to admit to you, this boathouse row, maybe I am being influenced by the name, but to me, it smells like if I was in New England on the shore and there's all these sexy, in shape, muscle bound fishermen, you know, in those little um, blue cotton jackets that they wear, pulling heavy ropes, you know, and sweating and they're all well wearing wonderful colognes and all that and speaking with those New England English accents. 
<laughs> that, that's the spa scent for me right there. I, that's what I see. New England, full of sexy fishermen, you know, serving up hundreds of delicious fish and smiling and talking about it and lobster sandwiches and stuff like that. that this cancel does not smell like lobster, but my mind goes to sexy fishermen and everything that I imagine that sexy fishermen have to offer, which is food, comes to mind. So I love Boathouse Row. Sage, I mean, I mean, sage is in there, bay leaf is in there. Is that not a is that not a sexy man? And pomegranate, come on. So I love, I love this scent. It has a bite to it, like like a raw, rugged man. You know, it's not some flimsy, you know, kind of guy. This is this is a real American man here at Boathouse Row, or maybe even someplace like Ireland or something. You know, this is all fantasy. Next is the original. Now this one, I am halfway finished with, and or maybe I'm more than halfway. This one burns pretty quickly, so we got a lot going on there. I'm sure to finish this one. This smells very similar to Boathouse Row, although I don't think it shares any. Okay, this has vetiver, so it has vetiver, and it has the black peppercorn. So I think this one has black peppercorn in it. No, I don't see it. I can't explain it by looking at the notes, but the original and the Boathouse Row share similarities to me. This one is more zen, more calming. It's very unisex, the original, but this one is available now. So if I use this one by SAS, I will be able to get another one. So, you know, even though I can't get Boathouse Row right now, I mean, you know, you never know. There's blessings everywhere. You know, somebody might not like it and they might return it. But, uh, <laughs> but um, this one, I am I know that I can get my hands on after I finish it. So those are the three that I'm working on and that's how far I am. Now, I have something else here. This is hand soap. I'm halfway finished with Happy Easter. And the notes on this Happy Easter, let me see. Oh, peony, petals, and fresh spring lily. Now, as much as I love florals, you would think I would adore this scent. And that is not the case. This is just okay to me. It's not sweet. It's not floral enough for me. It's not heady. It has like a little soft peony scent and not much on the lilies. So I am going to use this bad boy up by Easter. I'm halfway finished with it. And I don't think I will purchase the Easter scent from them again if this is it. This is what I like for Easter, but I'm not gonna use it for Easter because I'm gonna use my happy Easter. But this is what I was using. Then they had a hand soap sale. Yeah, then they had a hand soap sale. So I said, oh, I just get happy Easter. I know I love florals. Mm -mm. I like this right here, lemon buttercream. This smells like Easter to me. Hey, how you doing, Katie? Oh, you got the, the vanilla sugar. That's a good one. Stick with that, that, that happy Easter was not for me. I, I don't know what time of the year I would want that. Mm. <laughs> I should have I should have gone with the vanilla warm vanilla or something. That would have been much better. But this is what I'm going to use after I finish half the Easter. Because I've only been using this a week and I use it by myself. I'm halfway finished. So Easter will be over soon. I will have done the festive thing. And this is so much better to me for Easter. I mean, I like the blue, I like the sugar, I like the cookies. You know, they're shaped like little stars and everything. This to me is more appropriate for Easter. And the lemon buttercream, this scent here. They, I have a backup in this one, so yeah. This smells like kiwi pie. Vanilla bean, no oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I like vanilla bean Noel. I gave that away for Christmas. I don't know if I have a backup of that soap or not, but I do have the fragrance, so I'm going to definitely enjoy that. Mm -hmm. That's going to be coming up. It might use it up. <laughs> yeah, but this one smells like kiwi, 
like like key lime pie, like lemon, like all that kind of good stuff, like a lemon cake. And I think a lemon cake is a spring cake. So this much better Easter scent. Since she mentioned um, uh, the um, Vanilla Noel, Vanilla Bean Noel is what I am going to use this spring. I'm trying to find what I used up. Hmm. I don't, I don't know what I did with it, <clears throat> but I used up my Amber Blush cream and I am replacing it with this Vanilla Bean Noel cream. And I have this on right now. You see that shine on my skin? It looks like I'm glowing there. That's because this is that whipped shimmer cream. And I like this for Easter because, you know, vanilla is a real good base scent that you can wear with any fragrance that you want to. It doesn't clash with other fragrances, at least not most other fragrances. It doesn't clash with florals. It goes great with woods. It's great with ambers. So this is what I'm I'm using right now. I have this on today. I'll show you. They they bring this out in different packaging every year. Oh, this is the one I used up. Sorry to reach like that. This is what I used up. This is amber blush. If they have this at SAS, I am definitely buying another one. Raspberry Champagne, Gardenia Petals, Magnolia Blossom, Crystallized Amber, and Vanilla Suede. This is so good for spring and summer. Oh my goodness. But I, of course, it's the beginning of spring. I started using it, used it up. I'm not going to cut it because I need to get through all of my creams, but I just want to show you this. You see that? So this is really good for the summer. And I smell like butter cookies. Yeah, you see that? How it glistens on the skin. And if in person, I do have little glitter particles on my skin. So I don't mind. I'm okay with that. And I don't mind smelling like a sugar cookie. Me and Katie, we like this. This, this cream is really very fragrant. You don't need anything else, but I'm extra. So I will have on fragrance other than that for Easter because I'm just extra like that. I used up a pumpkin body wash that was in my empties, it's gone. So I'm replacing it with Marshmallow Magic. Yes, Marshmallow Magic. I'm so excited. This is the soap. This is the super sculpty soap for the body. And the notes on Marshmallow Magic are vanilla cream, crisp lavender, and marshmallow musk. So I think musk is such a great scent in the springtime. I love musk in the springtime. And this is fun. This will be even good for kids. It's 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 playtime in the shower or playtime in the bath. So I'm definitely going to enjoy that soap for the springtime. I am also using this. This is Skin Brand. This is a yogurt soap. It's really invigorating for your skin. If you're feeling tired, if you're feeling like your skin is like, you can't get it done kind of thing, this yogurt soap from Skin, what's it called? It's called Milky Protein Cleanser. But mine smells like yogurt. It's not the most pleasant scent. After you finish with it, get your skin invigorated, you do have to follow up with a, you know, pleasant smelling soap. You don't want to walk around smelling like um, spoiled milk. <laughs> okay. Now, additionally, I am finishing up this product here. This is Sensual Kiss. I got this from Ulta. As you see, I am halfway finished with it. This is Amber and Woods. That's all it is. It's a base scent. So I will be using this cream in addition to this vanilla bean cream because this is a glittery cream. You don't want to overdo this one. So for moisture, I'll put this Amber and wood underneath and then put my vanilla on top and I have just created Dior Addict on a budget. Dior Addict is a very expensive fragrance by Dior that I've smelled on people and want it but it is currently outside of my price range. You know that that doesn't last forever. Fragrances do their prices are high at a certain point and they come down over time so I'll get there if I still want it. Yeah, but we'll go on. I finished up my Holy Grail bubble bath. This is Avon. I've been using my great grandmother, my great grandmother, not my grandmother, but my great grandmother taught me to use Avon bubble bath. And Avon has got another customer for life. I love this stuff. I have finished this up. This was from Christmas purchase. It was, um, 
Winterberry, and I like it because it makes the bath pink. It, it's a great bubble bath. It gives you so many bubbles. The water doesn't feel soapy or anything. All the all the energy in this goes into making a huge amount of bubbles like you see in those old movies of women taking bubble baths in a sea of bubbles. That's this right here. I am replacing that with this. I got it SAS. And as you can see, I've already started using it. This is fresh balsam. I have never used any other bubble bath but Avon. I mean, I've tried those little cheapies at the 99 cent store. They were never, they could never compare it to Avon. And, you know, the OG, what's this called? Oh, Avon bubble bath. Yeah, so Avon bubble bath. This package is iconic. Well, in any event, so I saw, saw this and I'm like, well, ooh, fresh balsam. That seems nice. So I got this. I've used it one time. I'll tell you up front. This doesn't give you as many bubbles as Avon, and it's a more concentrated product. So I didn't know all I ever used was Avon. So I used this like I would use Avon, and that wasn't that good because this, the you have to put a little bit in the water, which I'm going to do next time, and then just let the, the bubbles come, and you have to actually push the bubbles in this one away from the bath, and then so... It, the water will start bubbling again. But the smell on this one, much stronger than the Avon. And the water is a light green color. It's not a deep green color. It is a light, fun, lime green color. So I'm, oh, I just bit my tongue. Mm, did y'all see that? <laughs> okay, slow down, girl. But this is some good stuff. I really enjoyed it. And um, mm, yeah. I didn't smell like a man after I got out, but I guess because I slathered myself in vanilla and sandalwood. <laughs> but in any event, and peony. Yeah, this was nice. I really enjoyed it. And you guys, I felt like this did great things for my skin. I felt like just like when I used this yogurt one, the, the balsam like did some really cleansing things for my skin as I sat in the bath for like 30 minutes. Y'all, I got to go to a birthday party at the Cheesecake Factory today. So I was, I was doing big things. I took a bubble bath. I get, did my skin. I did my nails. Oh, I did it. Up. And then I went there and I ate everything that they could serve me. Enjoyed myself. Oh, it was so good. So I'm feeling myself right now. <laughs> anyway. Let's keep it moving. This is a 99 cent store bath oil that I've been using forever because it's only a dollar and it has some sunscreen in it. So I finished this up and I am replacing it with this bath oil right here. This again is Marshmallow Magic. You guys, this has notes and stuff on it, but I cannot read that. I already read you the notes on the body wash, on the soap. So this is the oil. I need oil. I need to seal in my lotion. Hey, Liliana, how you doing? Oh yeah, what do you need? What advice do you need, Lil Liliana? We'll help you out here. What did you need? Okay, well, if you don't feel comfortable putting it on the live here, you can always leave a comment. Oh, you have a six-year-old daughter? Oh, that's wonderful, yeah. How to clean her tummy button. Oh, okay. You can just use any kid soap, any soap that you want to use for a kid, and you just wash in there. Um, if there's something that won't come out, put a little yogurt in there, just old-fashioned yogurt, and rub that around in there, and um, that, that should help. If that doesn't work, you can go to the health food store and get something called Aztec Powder. Girl, please, do you know, look at my age. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, grandkids, kids, cousins, yes. <laughs> hey, kitty, how you doing? You know, but I'm just saying, you know, if sometimes what you're talking about when you talk about a kid's belly button is that they there gets that little stuff in there. <laughs> oh, thank you, Haley. And, um, you know, we get embarrassed that they don't have an Audi. That happens to all of us, in fact. But you can put a little yogurt in there. Plain yogurt, not sweetened yogurt. Let me get that straight for you. And it actually will um, 
I'm rubbing. It'll it'll make that stuff easier. Yes, Liliana, I do have experience on cleaning lots of children's belly buttons and adults' belly buttons. And there's sometimes we get, I'm trying to, I'm answering your question. If you don't understand it, you can replay it. If there's a language that you need it in, let me know and I'll try to put some subtitles for you. But you put yogurt in there to get that, what you're seeing, that crusty stuff, that won't come out with soap, but the yogurt will loosen it up and then you can wash the, the, the yogurt out with a regular soap, you know? And then you just take your little finger like that over the surface of the little baby belly button and you'll get it nice and clean. Put a little Vaseline or baby um, oil on there and you won't get that problem again. So I hope that helps. And if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments. I'll, I'll take care of you. <laughs> well, those children are grown now. But at the time, it was from the ages of six months to um, about five years old when I had to deal with those issues. So. Yeah, but they're grown now. I, I have had to deal with some recent seven-year-old belly buttons, but those would be the grandkids, so it's not as often. <laughs> yeah, so if that helps you out. Now, we have the oil here. Like I was saying, I need um, moisture. We got to help out our little family. No, I haven't tried the, the strawberry shortcake candle, Kitty. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be in store tomorrow. So I'm going to go check it out and see if they, because I'm hoping they, I'm hoping I have a coupon for a $12 candle. So I'm going to definitely be checking out the strawberry candle. And when I get it, if I like it, I will bring it on here and share it with you. So this is an oil, the marshmallow magic. I love you guys so much. This is so much fun when we interact like that. So we, we don't just have to talk about Bath and Body Works. We can talk about whatever we need to talk about, you know, because kids' belly buttons, I had that issue. That's how I learned. <laughs> and after you get it clean, put some oil on that belly button. So, because if you put oil, it'll it'll be easy to clean. You know, you put some oil on that child. Don't, don't just, you know, to, to block out stuff from being able to grow in the crevices on little children, okay? You know, baby oil, whatever they have for in your area that's safe for kids. It, like I said, it's been a long time for me. So in my time, it was Johnson's baby oil. I don't know what y'all are using now. And then I think Shea Moisture Kids, and um, it was another baby line that came out. Oh, yeah, Burt's Bees baby line. We used to use those products. I don't know what you guys use today, but they had pro they had like a butter that we would put on them, and you know, keep them. it. It would make it easier to clean them up later. Okay, so <laughs> back to I don't know. I I think I I think you guys understand. I'm gonna be using this lavender oil. Um, Liliana, I did describe to you how I cleaned them. I use my hand in a circular motion like that, you know, and you know, the little button comes out and you clean it. That's how you do it. So I did describe that. Maybe you didn't catch it. Replay this video. I've actually um, explained it to you two or three times. Okay, so we will move on from there. I am currently using up this warm milk and honey sleep. I use it as, at night before I go to bed. I put it on my hands and I put it on my feet and my legs for circulation. This is uh, white clove essential oil and cinnamon essential oil. And um, this, the smell is really light to me. I think I don't smell clove as strong as some other people do. But I think clove is a smell in here. Clove is kind of a sensual smell. It's not a strong smell for me. And, um, okay, so you've tried that new strawberry candle. It has a great throat. Yeah, I will like it. I'm looking forward to trying the strawberry pound cake candle. I really am. It's one of the ones. In fact, I think it's the only new candle that I'm excited about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is where I am with this one. Tomorrow's going to be the day when they put the new set in Bath and Body Works. I hope they have a good sale. Yes. Oh, so excited. That's where I am with this aromatherapy. You see, I just have a little bit there. So I know I'm going to finish that by spring. 
So I'm bringing in my love. This is um, rose and vanilla. And I think this is a good relaxing scent. I'm going to try this at night before I go to bed. They don't have the warm milk and honey. If they did, I would definitely repurchase it. I hate I didn't buy more when they had it in store. But this will have to do. So I'm going to give this a try. You will hear about it in my next update because I'm sure to finish off the cinnamon. And um, I sometimes have a little trouble sleeping. So I also use this pillow mist. This is Ylang Ylang. And this is what inspired me to think I could use the rose at night because this relaxes me at nighttime and I feel like I can drift off to sleep within about 30 minutes. This one is completely empty, used up. That little bit there, I cannot get to, but don't worry, I had a backup. I was blessed to be able to get two of them and I am, I guess, about one third of the way through this one. So I will finish this one up by SAS. I don't think I have any other pillow mist, but I have some oils, and so I'm just gonna have to do some, what they call DIYs from that point on. And this is the um, Sensual Kiss Spray from Ulta. I am one third of the way finished with this. It is Amber and Woods. Burt's Bees is still good for children. Yeah, I, oh, that was real good long time ago. That was amazing because it was so natural, so kids didn't have reaction to it. So, Burt's Bees, child, you know, if you're looking for some good products for your little ones, Burt's Bees is good too, okay? And um, we got Sensual Kiss here. I'm using up this. I use this with my perfumes. So I don't use this by itself. It's not really a strong scent. It's just amber and woods. So to me, that's a base note in a fragrance. It's not a complete fragrance. So I use that because a lot of today's modern fragrances don't last. So if I put layer them over this or layer them over a musk, then my fragrance, I can get six to eight hours out of it and save myself some money. So I'm finishing that one. And I am using my cherry blossom. This is a lilac scent, you guys. They don't mention lilac in the notes, and there's no notes on here. They mention watermelon in the notes, but I do not get watermelon in there. I mean, if, if you say it, then I can kind of smell, reach for it and smell the watermelon, but that watermelon translates to a lilac scent to me, and that's why I'm wearing this in the spring. I didn't use much of it, but I'm sure to finish this off in spring. No problem there. Let's keep it moving. I finished off an apple toddy um, wallflower. No notes. I didn't keep the notes. And I am replacing it with a creamy nutmeg. I know this isn't the right season, but I, I like to smell the warmth and the butteriness and the spice. That's just who I am. I'm an incense kind of girl in the house. So this smells so good to me. And it's not heavy or overwhelming. It just stays in the area that I am. It will fill a large room with time. But basically, I think it's best for like a 20 by 20. Creamy nutmeg. And the notes are nutmeg, cinnamon, and vanilla. I don't smell any cinnamon in here. When you use cinnamon, even in foods, if you put a little bit, it just punches up the other flavors and it doesn't smell like cinnamon at all. Um, I did also finish this one here, which was Mary Mimosa, and this was very pleasant in the bathroom. Some of the, some of the wallflowers I got were too strong for the bathroom, but this Mary Mimosa, it was a light apple scent, and I feel like it was like that orchard blossom that's out, out now or probably crisp apple that's about to come out and I really enjoyed it as a light scent in the bathroom. We're almost done. I am using this Trader Joe's body scrub. This is a salt scrub because I am seriously trying to get ready for summer. I haven't got much left. This smells like straight up lavender medicinal lavender and it's salt so it's heavier than a sugar scrub and I need all of that because the, as you can see I like to shine and so I got to get as much of the old dead skin off but I am going to replace it with autumn blooms this is a very light scrub it's not heavy but you can maintain your regular scrub with this one and this scrub out of the other bath and body Works scrubs that I have it, I can use, it doesn't, this isn't a soap. This is just a scrub. This is a jelly. 
and it leaves the scent on your skin. Let's see if they got the notes on here. Okay, marigold petals, sparkling bergamot, cedar leaf, and sandalwood. So to me, this is a spring fragrance. Hey, oh yeah, you like Trader Joe's too? Oh yeah, oh my goodness. In that organic section in Trader Joe's, they have good stuff. I use a lot of their products. I mostly get these as gifts though because everybody knows that I like bath and body stuff. So when my friends and family go into Trader Joe's, they'll pick me up a little treat. Yeah, I love, oh my goodness, they have great shampoos and everything. So you guys, that's everything that I've used and everything that I'm using up. You can see why I'm so excited. I did really good. I've been using my products I'm on my way to SAS because I, intend to use up so much stuff that I can go ham. I will do an empties video next month when I have used up some more of these products. And um, I, I haven't bought many products. So I am reducing my stash. I've been going to birthday parties and that means I've been giving stuff away, you know, so I'm, I'm doing real good. I'm on my way to June. And when June comes, I should be able to guilt free purchase the things that I want and I will know what I want because I'm using what I have and thank you everybody for stopping over please leave some comments you know leave some comments for um I think her name was Lilith that's um you know cleaning her baby because you know we all had kids grandkids and all that oh you get the vegetarian sausage tofu okay yeah, I ate um, vegan for one month, and you're right, I did feel better. And I got my vegetarian tofu sauce. I got my vegetarian sausage at Walmart. You know, Walmart has a vegetarian section too. So I got their vegetarian sausage, and it tasted so good. I found these logs that looked just like regular sausage. They had some kind of way they put some kind of thing that looked like a sausage skin on them. These vegetarian sausage, you do not have to miss out on sausage. They have some good ones. It has some apple in it. It was so good. You know, it was expensive though, but your health is worth it, Katie. So keep in there. Yeah, I garden and eat a lot of garden salads. So that's what's getting me through. Yeah. So those are our tips, Lilith. If you're still listening, we love you. Morning Star. Okay, that's the brand you got. I will look for it because I really like vegan sausage. They are delicious. What flavor did you get? Well, if you get a chance, Katie, put what flavor you got if it's a different flavor. But I will look for the Morning Star sausage because I love vegan sausage. Well, you guys, that's our whole video. Look at all the fun we had, all the different girly topics we brought up. Feel free. We do not have to just talk about Bath and Body Works because we are women. We got issues. And if we are men, we still got issues. We got things we need to get done. You know, we raising kids, grandkids, great grandkids, and, you know, sometimes a few foster kids. So um, Jesus loves you, and I love you with all 